Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review the Ishin VTX03. This is a video transmitter. It has three versions. One is the VTX01, the second one is the VTX02, and this is the O3. The difference between them is the O3 has three different states, 25 milliwatt, 50 milliwatt, and 200 milliwatt. The O1 has only 25 milliwatt option, and the O2 has only 200 milliwatt option. So this one enjoys both worlds, and also has a 50 milliwatt option. Inside the package, we're getting the transmitter. It has a digital display to display the channel. We're getting this small whip antenna, and we're getting the instruction manual as well. According to this frequency table, it supports up to 72 channels. The supported voltage is between 3.2 to 5.5 volts. Just to remind you, when you're dealing with transmitters, always connect the antenna. If you will turn on the transmitter without the antenna being present, you are going to burn the transmitter because it's not going to have any resistance, so it's going to burn. So remember, always put the antenna first. The weight, including the wires and the antenna, is 2.84 grams. I'm going to remove most of the wire, so I'm pretty sure it's going to save at least half a gram. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to connect the transmitter to my newly built Pico X quadcopter. I had another camera here, an all-in-one one, but I accidentally broke it. So I'm going to connect a different camera and I'm going to mount this transmitter on the back so I can show you how it works. So I soldered the VTX and powered it on. I'm actually going to place it on the back of the quadcopter because it's going to be temporary. I'm waiting for another board that I want to test. So this is going to be a temporary position. So let's go through the stat settings. So in order to change the channel, you have to short press the button here. So you can change between eight channels. In order to change the frequency, you will have to short press for one second and then you can just change between all the bands so there are nine bands and if you want to change the output strength you have to long press it for five seconds then you can see one hyphen means 25 watt two 50 and three means 200 milliwatt if you fly it indoors, just in a small area, you might just stick to the 25, maybe 50 milliwatt. It's also going to, going to conserve some energy. One of the big advantages of having this kind of antenna than these cloverleaf antennas, first of all, this one is replaceable, much more, it's easier to replace. So you just have to snap it, this IPX connector, and you're done. Second of all, it's uh, much, much more durable than the cloverleaf antenna. So if you just fly in a quadcopter indoors, it might be a perfect solution for you. The, the disadvantage is that this cloverleaf antenna has better signal. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to connect a camera and take it for a short test flight inside the house. 